I am in northwest Mexico, in an inhospitable land which for many centuries has been the home of the Tarahumara Indians, a very hospitable tribe. Their ancestors came from Asia, crossing the Bering Straits. I came here on the back of a mule, the best way of traveling across the Sierra Madre. The family is very important to them, as it constitutes the social base that ensures their precarious well-being. They are strong people, accustomed to living with very little, and who value people more than things. The man with the most experience in the village is the chief, or Siriyame, and he is chosen by a system of showing of hands which makes vote rigging impossible. On Sundays, he gives them a chat, and they go to see him to resolve the problems of the community. Like their ancestors, they grow maize. They don't have many resources, but they do have their own philosophy. They never tell their children off. They give them responsibilities from when they are very young, and they teach them to decide for themselves. Maize and some animals. They suffer from illnesses due to scarcity, but despite his appearance, this child is receiving treatment, as the village doctor, an affable man called Cherokee, tells me. The Raramuri marry very young, from the age of 16, and the woman calls all her children the same, Danala. Raramuri means the light-footed ones. They have always liked running, and they still do. That is why the men play rarajipo. The game consists of kicking the ball with the inside of the foot along a course. With the inside of the foot, they kick the ball, which in their language is called the komakali. Each team supports its favorite, and they follow him throughout the race, bringing water, food, and enthusiasm. The teams bet, and the winner is the one who reaches the finish, which may be one or two hundred kilometers away, so the race can last for days. But that is absolutely no problem for the Lightfoot Indians. <laughs> 